Good morning, my friends. Today is Monday, October 4th. And today is the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi. And there's so much that could be said about him and his uh, legacy in the world. Um, he might be most uh, famously known for being the patron saint or the liberator of uh, the earth, the animals, ecology, um, and pointing us back toward an understanding that, that the world we live in and all the other things that inhabit the world besides humans uh, are also part of God's creation and that we should live in partnership with them uh, and not abuse them or uh, use them up or uh, reject them as being holy just as we are holy. There are certain tenets to what is called Franciscan theology uh, that uh, point us towards a, a life uh, in service to others and and three of those tenets are charity, benevolence, and compassion. And when we can have uh, a sense of charity, a sense of uh, well-being for others, a sense of benevolence, kindness, and a sense of compassion, uh, knowing what it is to be like other people and suffer what they suffer and, and join in the joys of other people as if they are our own, uh, then we all become this one family of God that we were and, and still are originally created as. The other thing about uh, St. Francis uh, and his uh, ability to draw us into the natural world uh, is to uh, help us place ourselves in that world. When he tried uh, to get us to see and understand that God is present in all things, uh, the birds, the animals, even the trees, even the rocks. He was also trying to get us to understand that God is within us. I think for many of us, myself included uh, at times, it's uh, somewhat easy or easier uh, to see God or the presence of God in a beautiful sunrise or beautiful sunset. Uh, for those of us who live near the beach, just going down to the, the ocean's front, and watching waves and listening to them and the great vastness of it all seems to bring us uh, closer to God and, and we can see God at work in those things. One of the hardest places for a lot of people to see God, however, is within ourselves. One of the hardest places to notice God is when we look in the mirror. We are like God. Not that we are God or that we are to become God, but that God becomes us, part of us. It's the whole reason for the incarnation of Jesus, uh, the eternal Christ coming down into the world and, and inhabiting what, what we inhabit. The third thing that St. Francis is uh, famous for uh, is the prayer of St. Francis, which I think many of us know it, at least part of, one or two sentences out of it, one or two phrases. But I'd like to leave us this morning uh, with the entirety of the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. O divine creator, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, and it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.